Hello friends. Welcome back to Wanderlust channel. In today's video, we'll be delving into the wonders of the Alamo and San Antonio and immersing ourselves in a delightful boat ride along the San Antonio River. So, without further ado, let's embark on this exciting journey. During my travel in the United States, I went to San Antonio in the state of Texas. One of the notable landmarks I explored during my time there was the Alamo. Situated in Alamo Plaza in the heart of downtown San Antonio, Texas, the Alamo Cenotaph is a monument dedicated to commemorating the defenders of the Alamo, who perished during the historic battle for Texas independence in 1836. Erected in 1939, this 60-foot-tall structure stands as a lasting tribute to the individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice, encapsulating the significance of the events that unfolded during that critical period in Texas history. The names of the Alamo defenders are inscribed on the sides of the monument, ensuring that their memory is preserved. The Alamo Cenotaph serves as a solemn and powerful tribute to the individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice during the pivotal moments of Texas history. The Alamo is a historic site in San Antonio, Texas, USA, and is best known for the Battle of the Alamo, which took place during the Texas Revolution in 1836. Initially established as the Franciscan Mission, Mission San Antonio de Padua, in the 18th century, it later gained prominence as a central location in the struggle for Texas independence from Mexico. In 1835, insurgents from Texas took command of the Alamo from Mexican forces. In February 1836, General Antonio López de Santa Ana led a Mexican army to lay siege to the Alamo. After 13 days of fierce combat, the Mexican forces successfully overwhelmed the defenders. Notable figures among the casualties included James Bowie, William B. Travis, and the renowned frontiersman Davy Crockett. The rallying cry, Remember the Alamo, became a powerful slogan for the Texan forces, and they went on to achieve victory over the Mexican army at the Battle of San Jacinto in April 1836, securing Texas independence. Presently, the Alamo Chapel serves as an emblem of bravery and selflessness. Preserved as both a historic site and a tribute to the valiant defenders of the Battle of the Alamo, the chapel invites exploration. Within its walls, visitors can discover exhibits and artifacts that delve into the site's extensive history, offering insights into the events of the Texas Revolution. Having exited the chapel, we are now venturing to explore the nearby monuments in the vicinity.
Alamo Palisade, a recent outdoor exhibit, showcases a representation of the fence-like fortifications utilized during the Battle of the Alamo. Designed to enhance visitor comprehension, this exhibit provides valuable insights into the 1836 battlefield location, offering a deeper understanding of the historical events that unfolded at this significant site. We are currently strolling through the streets of Alamo Plaza, making our way toward the River Walk. The San Antonio River Walk, also recognized as Paseo del Rio, stands as a well-loved tourist spot in San Antonio, Texas. It comprises a system of pathways along the San Antonio River banks. While renowned for its charming walkways adorned with shops, restaurants, and attractions, the Riverwalk also offers opportunities for delightful boat rides along the river. Exploring the San Antonio River Walk through boat tours offers visitors a distinctive viewpoint on the region's architecture, history, and lively atmosphere. Setting out on a boat ride along the river, the journey spans approximately 35 to 40 minutes, covering a distance of 2.5 kilometers. With tickets in hand, we are now ready to immerse ourselves in the experience of the scenic boat ride. Okay, can everyone hear me? Everyone hear me? If everyone can hear me, I want you to scream. Just go, ah! 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 Yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, guys, we have a live performance going on up here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna be quiet, but I will go over, you know, rules and welcoming all that after we go through here. All right, as we're going through here, I want everyone to cheer for this guy. He's got to come proud. That opened up in 1868. The reason is, back in the 1800s, we had a bunch of German settlers come to San Antonio, right? They came and settled down in San Antonio. They wanted a place where they could worship in their own native language of Dutch. However, everybody in Mexico and Texas speaks Spanish. So they actually made that just for them to have their own German ceremonies. They still, to this day, have an all male uh, German choir that plays every Monday. So if you guys are feeling religious, need to go confess your sins, I'd suggest doing it on a Monday. That'd be a pretty cool thing to see, right? You guys may or may not have noticed, we've got a lot of stores on the side here. Lots of souvenirs. I know people like trinkets, right? Everyone likes trinkets. I like trinkets. I live here and I might come get a trinket. I don't even know yet. <laughs> but yes, yeah, this would be the place to get a cool souvenir. Man, I've seen like hats, clothes, bags, Right after we get out from under this bridge, it is all natural. We're in natural waters again, my friends. Yeah, look at that. Look at us. Sorry about that little delay. All right. I do have a cool story about the building that Dirty Nellies is attached to. So this big old building right here, there's a big old one right on our left. Look at the top of it. See how it's got all those squares? 
Everyone see that? So this building actually has a world record, everybody. This building was built in the fastest amount of time for a building of its size. So back in 1968, we're having the World's Fair in San Antonio. The whole world is coming to the fair, right? They want you. Zachary came along and he said, I will build you your building in your time frame. And if I can sell each room for a dollar a night, that's $500 for that one dollar. So what he did to make sure he didn't have to sell the building for a dollar is he built each one of those squares up there in a factory eight miles away. Built every single room, fully furnished it, they're ready to go. They got beds, linens on the beds, Bibles in the book stands, toilets, everything is ready. They shipped them over here on U -Haul, or, uh, trailers and they just stacked them one by one with a great big crane like a big Lego set. There's a big Lego building behind us. Took 202 working days as the world record for the fastest time of a building of its size to be built. Uh, the section of the river we're going through right now is Edwin Arneson's Theater. In that, uh, in that movie while we're while she was smiling on that stage, just because I was passing her by, I was like, hey, Miss Sandra Bullock. <laughs> that bridge we just passed under, that is actually known as Rosita's Bridge for any Toronto fans out there, yeah? Everyone know about Rosita Fernandez? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. I'm like, man. So Rosita Fernandez was a famous Tejano singer, right? She actually took part in the Fiesta de Noches they have down here every single year for 26 consecutive years. That's a pretty good track record, everyone. Yeah, they named it in her honor. Everyone's looking at these bronze uh, bowls over here, wondering what all this is. This is the Briscoe Western Art Museum, my friends. Whoever hasn't been in there yet, I will let you know what's in there. They got Santa Ana Ceremonial Sword, Pancho Villa's last known saddle, the legendary rider, and an interactive diorama of the Conflict of the Alamo for anyone needing a uh, history lesson. Might be worth it to go in there, huh? Everybody want to know why? Look at all them white streaks. Gross! <laughs> yeah, don't, don't touch that uh, bridge. It is actually a pretty cool bridge, though. It was put here in 1890. Yeah, it's an old, old bridge, and it is one of ten. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> in the 1800s. It's also called the crossing section of the name, right? It comes because the water was very shallow here and the ground was very hard packed, so you wouldn't have to worry about your horse and buggy getting stuck in mud or swept away by those roaring rapids, you know? They got in Colorado. Whoa, yeah, looks familiar, right? I don't know if that was in Spider-Man or not. <laughs> Little scrapings on the sidewalls here. So those scrapings are there because there's a floodgate right below us, right? So what happens is the floodgate, in case of a flood, will come up and it'll block off that whole bridge, right? Right? There's a bunch of little bumps on that chain link fence known as the love locks. There's a lock store right up here. What people do is they go in that store, they buy a lock, they engrave their initials and their lover's initials onto the lock, they lock it to the fence and then they take the keys and they throw it into the water here in the deepest section of the river where it will never be found ever again to symbolize that they will be together forever. <laughs> that being said, there are quite a few combination locks on there. I guess some people are feeling uh, not too sure, wanting to get their lock. If you guys look directly ahead of us, you're going to see a great big tree with lights on it. That is actually the oldest tree on the river. That is a 320 year old tree. Believe it or not, those lights are, that are on it, they're natural. They, they grew on the tree. Those are 320-year-old lights. <laughs> so that bridge we just went under is another floodgate. That's floodgate three, everybody. It comes down like a garage door. And I'm going to let this other boat pass us because we have the slowest boat in the world. <laughs> Tavern. So this opened up uh, while, I believe it opened up while alcohol was illegal. I know they were definitely open when alcohol was illegal, but I don't know if they're open before that. So they were a speakeasy back during Prohibition when alcohol was deemed illegal. They were a speakeasy disguised as a barber shop. So on the first floor they had a fully functioning barber shop. Everyone would come in, get their hair cut, whatever. But in the bathroom there's a secret door. You'd knock on that secret door and say a password and they'd let you into the basement where they had a fully stocked bar, then fully stocked illegal bar down to the basement. Everyone would just go crazy down there, get messed up, man. But
Aztec Theater, everybody. Yeah, that's the Aztec Theater. It opened up in 1926. It was a luxury movie palace back in the 1920s. <laughs> You guys look behind us, you're going to see Selena's bridge, that bridge you just passed under. We got any Selena fans on board? Selena, Selena? Oh man. Yeah, they're, they're few and far most. I'm telling you, I don't get many of them. But yes, Selena was actually proposed to on that bridge, the real life Selena. On that bridge with Jennifer Lopez getting proposed to on that bridge is an accurate representation of what happened. Is that nice? Selena was proposed to on the bridge. Jennifer Lopez, she was proposed to all over the world. Let's get that clear. <laughs> it's actually said that they stayed in this building on the left during filming in the presidential suite, a completely flat building. Everyone see that? Yeah. The reason it looks like that, why it looks like it's a freestanding wall about to fall on us, is it is an iron building. To tell you guys, I don't think I want to stay in a hotel that used to be an old hospital. That just sounds like you're begging for ghosts to haunt you at night. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't think I'll be staying there. Oh, we got some more music. As we pass by, I want everyone to go wild and cheer. Let's hear for the music as we're going by. Now that we've concluded our boat ride and are leisurely walking along the Riverwalk, I'm excited to showcase more of San Antonio's captivating views in my upcoming video. If you enjoyed this content, please show your support by hitting the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for future videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends and add your comments below. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.
Until then, take care and see you soon.